What's going on booktube today? I'm going to be doing my book haul video I'm gonna be sharing with with you all the books that I've picked up since the last one I did and Also just to add in there. This is my second time filming this video because the first time I filmed it was the same day that the lawnmower was going on in the background and I didn't want to use that footage so I spent like I don't know three or four hours trying to figure out my microphone situation and playing with the settings and I think I figured it out so hopefully today's video is coming through a lot crisper and cleaner than most of my other videos in the past let me know what you guys uh, think about the sound in the comments and let me know if this is crisper and clearer than my videos in the back if it's not I'll make some more adjustments if it's an improvement awesome um, but jumping into the books all three physical books that I have this month are self-published novels. They're self-published books. And it's funny because um, I've talked about in the past how the books that I have here with me in Ohio since moving to medical school, they mean a lot to me. I left both my, I left bo most of my books down in Texas just because I didn't want to be lugging them with me. And I had no idea I was going to be doing booktube um, i didn't even know booktube was a thing back in texas so um the books that i brought with me ha like i brought with me because they have special meaning they have a cool story behind them and these three books are no different and uh i'm w as i share these books with you i'm going to be sharing kind of the story behind them as well so this first book i've talked about it in two other videos so far i think and you're going to continue hearing from me about this book because i am so excited to share it with you because it has become one of my favorite books of all time and that is city of shards by steve rogers and I can't tell you how much I love this book. And the 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 whole the reason why this book means so much to me is because it was the very first self-published book I had ever read. And the fact that it was not only not a dud, uh, but it ended up being one of my favorite books I've ever read in such a cool story, I had to pick it up. I had to pick up a paper copy because uh, since then, I typically use my Kindle app to go through self-published books and read the first 10 to 20% and see which ones I want to uh, purchase a physical copy of or buy an audio book. Some of them I have completed on that Kindle app, but most of them I'm just reading until I can get a physical copy. Um, this one drew me in to the point that I couldn't stop reading. And it, for anyone out there, I did a full review on City of Shards. I highly recommend you pick it up, but I can't tell you how excited I am that I have this book now and how much it means to me. Um, so City of Shards was the very first book I picked up this month. The second book on I'm gonna be sharing that I have uh, is, like I said, is all three of these books are gonna be self-published. Uh, it is Godfrey's Crusade by Mark Howard. And this is really interesting because I knew nothing about this book. I didn't read a single page before I bought it. I didn't know the premise of the story, but what happened was I was walking through Barnes and Nobles and the very first stand said, hey, local author, um, self-published here. And it's a local person, Mark Howard is local to my area where I'm living right now. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to support him. I picked up a book, read the first five chapters and said, hey, I really like it. So um, he was doing a signing. I got him to sign the book. Um, it's got his signature. And like I said, it's been decent so far. If I had to describe this book um, for based off the first five chapters, this is not like, do not buy the book based off of this, but it seems very like historical, Arthurian in nature, um, mixed with a little bit of like monster slaying, like Witcher type stuff. So I'll see how the story progresses. It's been really good so far. Um, I'll probably end up finishing this um, after October though, after I get through my uh, my horror month, my spooky month. Um, but the second book I picked up was Godfrey's Crusade and it was just neat because I was able to buy a self-published book from a local author that I knew nothing about. And it's like I said, it's been good so far. The next book I'm gonna share with you also has a cool story just like the other two. Uh, it is a self-published collection of stories that was sent to me by a subscriber. Um, it's called the Void Walker Collection by Derek Bailey, and what's really interesting is he wrote me and said, um, "Hey, I've got a self-published book, and I think it's it's not typically what you read, but I think you'd be interested in it." 
Uh, I'll read how he describes it. He describes it as a dark fantasy thriller with some horror and contemporary elements in it. Um, it's technically a collection of eight short stories thrown into a book, and he describes them like paced like a Netflix show. Um, with some action, some mystery, some personal drama, all juggled into a big finale. He describes it as cerebral, surrealist, um, supernatural fantasy. And it's different than the ep big epic fantasies that I typically read and enjoy. But he thought that I might enjoy his collection. And I said, yeah, sure, send it my way. I'd love to read the book. And if it is kind of like that horror, um, surrealist type books, I'll read it in October. It's a high quality book. And when he sent me it, he also wrote a little note. He said, thank you for your interest in my collection. I hope it makes for a fun and spooky fall read um, from Derek Bailey. And uh, I really appreciate it. So thank you, Derek, for sending me your collection of stories. And I look forward to jumping straight into them in October. If anyone wants to read it with me, feel free to pick it up. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm starting it October 1st. So the Voidwalker collection. Those are the three physical books I picked up um, since my last book haul video. But I also did some Audible uh, pickups and often they're two for one deals. And the very first one was the Winter King and American Gods. Uh, I picked both of those up. And The Winter King, if you look on my fantasy TBR list that I just made, it was pretty high up there. But now that I have it like actually on in my library, it's getting moved up. American Gods was also on that TBR list, but it was lowered down. It's going to be moved up as well since I actually have it in my library, but it's still not an immediate thing that I feel like I'm going to be reading. Like I may not even get to it this year, honestly. Besides those two, there were two more. They were also far on it. I think they were part of that same two for one deal. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to pick them up though, because they're not like the first or second in a series. They're like third or in the second book's case, like way along in the series. Uh, but I know that I finish books series. I finish series that I start. So the other two books are Excalibur, which is the third book in that series, um, starting with The Winter King, which I got in the first two for one deals. And then I picked up Ghost Story, which is, I don't know how far down the line in the Jim Butcher um, Dresden File series, which I finally finished, uh, and I'll be discussing that uh, in a review all by itself. Um, and I enjoyed it and I'm going to continue with the series, but I think ghost story is way far down. So I'm not going to get to that maybe for years. Um, but I went ahead and picked it up because I was like, eh, why not? If I know I'm going to read both of these stories eventually, I might as well pick them up now on the deal. Those are the books I've picked up since the last book haul video I did. Um, I'm really glad to have them. Each one means a lot to me. Uh, the it's funny that they all ended up being self-published uh, cities I wasn't gonna not buy city of shards city of shards is my like one of my favorite books out there right now and Like I said, it was my very first self-published uh, book that I read so uh, me it meant a lot uh, Godfrey's crusade just happened like this was a weird fluke and weird happenstance and then the void walker collection Derek was nice enough to send me and I'm really looking forward to get into this in October and that concludes this latest book haul uh, I'll be back soon with more videos make sure you like and subscribe to get notified when the next video drops and let me know if the tweaks I made improved the sound quality of the video at all like I want to know if I need to make more adjustments or if this was good so uh, like and subscribe to get notified when the next video drops I'll be back soon with more videos until then, uh, I hope you're out there exploring cool new worlds and reading great new books. And until then, uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.